Good morning, everyone. So today I have uh, some tools to share with you, new uh, to Spellbinders, or some might be reworked, um, uh, especially the plates that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So these items were sent free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. Um, and any links have in the, the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items to those links. So I always give that disclaimer, but these really weren't sent for review. They're just items that Spellbinders would like for us to have to use. Um, you know, as we see fit. So they're just some new tools. So I thought I'd just show them to you guys because I know right now they have their uh, spring uh, cleaning warehouse sale. And if there's something you want to add on, um, you know, you can plainly, clearly do that. So let me, um, the box is kind of large because of this first item. You know, I'll show this to you guys first. So when I saw this on their site, I was like, yes, I love these. So let me show you what this is. Uh, let me move some of these out of the other side. Sorry, the box. <laughs> let me move this and this and this. And so there's a few things in here that um, I had been curious about. So this right here is a large paper pad. There's 25 sheets in here. It's 11 by 17 sheets. And um, initially it was there and then it was gone. I think it's available right now. I'm going to open it just so you don't have that glare. Um, I was super excited about these because... I used to have something like this back in the day when I was a consultant for <laughs> another um, stamp company. And um, we would put these, if you had like those house party type things, you would put these down and people can work on them. And I love them. <laughs> so of course I can't just get my hands on them now so easily. Um, and it's just paper. So what happens is, you know, I don't wanna mess this one up right now cause I'm here, but um, it is, you know, cause I don't need to, <laughs> but it's attached on the left side with, you know, that just, it's like a, like a notepad. Um, so say you're just working on something or you're distressing something or you have whatever it is and you're working on, you know, something, some kind of paper. Um, card, whatever it is that you're working on, um, this is behind it. And it's really nice um, when you're doing things like color blending. I'm just going to grab something. I know it's going to put some green on it, but um, let's say you have your card and you know you're going around the edges. And what I like about this kind of thing is that it'll hold some of the ink. So instead of the ink just smearing back, so let's say you want to go light on your ink and instead of it just kind of coming back, pulling back, um, it's going to hold it, you know, onto the paper because it's paper, so it's porous. So you get a really nice blend that way onto your project or however. So let's do, you're doing some stamping. You want to do some over stamping. You're on the edge of your card and you're just, you know, stamping something nicely in the background. And, you know, whenever we would do that, we want it to look more organic. So we stamp off the edge and this will be there to catch all that. And you don't have to just tear it away every time you do a project. I usually tear it away once you know, it's really <laughs> mucked up and stuff and everywhere, and then I'll go to the next page. You can tear that away. So it's really, really nice. Um, so I was very excited to see this, and I guess I can leave this here, just so you can keep an eye on that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> the uh, Barely Art Precision Craft glue, glue, this is the mini. It does come with the two fluid ounces of uh, glue, um, the tip cap and tip kit, it says. So let's open this up because I had seen this on there and people rave about it, so I am very curious. I do not want to destroy this box, but do I have to destroy it? <laughs> Let me see if I can open it. Hmm, it looks like I have to open it from this top part. So let me open that up on the side and I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Nope, there we go. I was like, no, I don't want to destroy that beautiful <laughs> packaging. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it is very early in the morning, you guys. I think my brain is barely waking up right now. Oh, another thing, I'm, I should have said this right at the top. Thank you guys so much, 23,000 subscribers. Um, just hit that, I think, last night. Um, so I was like, in the next video, I need to say thank you. So thank you guys so much. If you're new to my channel, it's VNA Creates. My name is VNA. Um, I do my videos just kind of like a daily vlog, more like. Um, that way it's more contemporary. And so I know if you hear the video later on, it might not make sense. Like, wait, that's not on sale anymore or whatever it is. Um, or oh, that's not new, right? Because <laughs> it's been around. Um, but that's just how I do it. So um, I appreciate you coming and watching and being here. Okay, so I will definitely do a video just, you know, whenever I use glues or whatever I need to use that, I'll try this out for you guys. But we do have, that's really cool. This feels very fancy. <laughs> Let's see here. So we have a pin. And I'm not sure if that's just to clear it or just to keep it closed up because I know other 
precision bottles I have, you keep the pin in it to keep it closed, and that way the air doesn't get inside and dry it out, but let's see what we have here. You have this tip, it's a little bit, I would say chunkier, like what's gonna come out, I think it's a little thicker, I don't know if you can see that there, and of course this is more precision, and I think this might be the um, lid. So again, I'm not super familiar with these things, so I have to try them out for myself, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just cap that off and that stays in here once you switch it out. And that's just a cap, like keeps it closed. So then you can switch out your um, precision tips. Very, very cool. And I'm gonna guess if you just leave this in there, it'll help keep it from drying out. But again, you can just switch it back out and put your lid back on it. Really nice. It says non-toxic, dries clear, precision tips. Very good. So I'd seen this, like I said, people had a lot of um, good reviews on that, so I'm happy to have that. Let me put this together and see if I can get this back in here. This feels very cool. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I'll definitely try that out for you guys very soon. We have the reverse tweezers. These are hefty. They feel very um, weighty. Excuse me, got something in my little throat. And just open those up and reverse tweezers. And someone had mentioned that they have a hard time using them. So what happens is when you pinch it, it opens up. And when you stop pinching, you know, that's it. So I think I have some pieces here from yesterday's video. Let's say when you're paper piecing or doing whatever it is that you want to do. So what you have to do is when you pinch it <laughs> is when you're going to go grab whatever item. And they are super, super fine. I don't know how, if you can see how very barely I'm holding on to that very edge. And then, you know, you have your glue, whatever it is, and when you place it down, open it, and that lets it go. <laughs> so it is, it, you know, it's a little bit opposite of what you might think. And when I start thinking about tweezers, I'm like, is it really though? Because I don't know, to me, it is fine. It's just that when you open it up, you gotta get in there and then let it go to hold on to the item. And then when you put it, put, put it down, of course you open it up and it releases it. So these are really weighty, really nice. Very, very fine. I don't know if you saw, <laughs> barely got that little tip there. And then we have this other tweezer. This is the detail tweezers. And um, it says on the back here, these bent nose sharp tip tweezers are a must have for accurate pickup and placement of tiny die cuts, gems, and more. So, exactly. That's why, for me, this is different than, like, the reverse tweezers. So let's say you do have some little gems or something that you want to place. You could just pick it up, that little gem, and place it. Let me show you. Maybe I'll grab a little something. I think there might be something in this package that I can do this with. But for now, I'm just going to grab some little gems that I always have near me here. And when you go to pick it up, again... <laughs> Not like the reverse tweezers, you're gonna pinch and then, you know, you have your little item there. Of course, these are upside down, but you would just pick it up like that and place it. And um, actually, my kids love using this for their perler beads. So, little precision tweezer tweezers there. Okay. And with those, I would just, you know, or if you're holding on to something, like if you're putting a little flower together or whatever, you know, they both would do the same um, on both of those, give you an extra little something. So this is really cool. This is the magnetic pickup tool. Um, if you are picking up the Glimmer, I think for the new package, it might have it with it, I believe. If I'm correct, I may not be. <laughs> um, but you can also pick it up separately. Um, and it just helps you pick up your, uh, just anything basically, but it's really meant for your glimmer because it's going to be hot, your uh, foil dies when you go to pick them up off your plate. Or for me, it would be my foil press. And um, I grabbed some plates just to show you. So let's just say you had this big boy heating up, it did its job, you know, you're done with that, you're gonna use another plate or just move on. Um, really cool. So you would just pick it up, and <laughs> the magnet pretty much, or the plate wanted to jump up to it. <laughs> Look at that. And you have to put it down. And then when you go to place it on your uh, cooling mat or, you know, something like this, or wherever it is that you're gonna put it, just push down and it releases it. And you wonder, how does that happen? Because it's a magnet, right? You think it would just cue it, but that's what it does. Pretty cool. Nice and lightweight. 
tool there. So I'll put that to the side over there. And then I have a few other items here. Um, what I want to try out in this video, and I'll run it through just so we can have an idea of how it works, is the um, Best Ever Craft Tape. And I'll get to that in just a minute. But let me see about these. So we do have um, these new plates the Spellbinders is carrying now, the glitter plates. So pretty with that little glitter in there. I don't know if you can see, I know it's hard because first of all, it's overcast today and this morning especially still a little bit dark out because you know how I like to get up early <laughs> to do my videos and um and then the lights want to freak out but they are clear plates um a little they, it looks like they have a little bit of a tone on them they're not super just clear um hopefully you can kind of see that and then it has the gold glitter in there so they have the six by six cutting plates and then uh for the platinum system and then they have the um six and an eighth by eight and three quarters the standard plates right so these are little smaller guys, which is really nice if you just have something smaller, you just want to run it through a little quicker. There you go. But here we are. So we have those. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I was saying, oh, I could probably use this on uh, these guys. Super pretty. Color Essentials Gems. Um, we have the Crystal Mix. Oh, no wonder. You know, I had seen that it said Mix, and I'm like, they look, you know, check this out. I hope you can see. Oh, my gosh. It looks so dark. Um, these are like opalescent. That's a word, right? <laughs> it's like, it looks like those opal kind of things and it has like a little iridescence on it. And then these guys down here are more of a AB type, but with that, with the white underneath. I know sometimes ABs look dark or like black. This one has that lighter. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so now I can see these two are also just a little different. And then there are different sizes in each color. So this one's more of like a gold gold. I don't know, maybe a little rosy gold in my opinion. And then this one looks more like metallic, where this one's kind of see-through. This is more of a metal uh, look. I don't know if you can see that. So pretty. And this one here is the uh, silver mix, and that one is like a clear kind of silvery, you know, rhinestone. And this one down here has, again, more of that metal look, even though it looks very glassy too, but it just has a metal uh, finish. Sorry. My little one just woke up. Okay, um, and then this one, this is the best ever craft tape. So it does say it's 20 yards of 5 8 inch craft tape. So it does say uh, it's best ever and then used for dyes, masking, and more. So I have been very curious to try this out. Um, it's a generous amount of this tape here. So what I'm gonna do is grab some paper, grab a die, and use a thicker piece of paper so I know it's really gonna push through whatever I cut with and see how it works because you guys know this is the bane of my existence, right? <laughs> Using tapes with your dyes and then it sticks to your paper or whatever else it might do. Um, but this one says that it will not leave residue on your dyes or your paper and things like that. So let me grab um, a die and some thick paper, something that's gonna make me a thick sandwich, you know, when I run it through. That way we know it has a lot of pressure and I'll be right back. You know what? I'm just gonna run this through because, um, and speaking of tape, look, the tape that I used yesterday is still stuck on here because it was a pain to get off. So I was like, eh. That's okay. So um, actually, let me take a moment, pick that off. Oh my goodness. And I'll be right back. So we'll use both pieces, um, this, the inner and the outer frame, because we're gonna end up with something very delicate and we'll see how the tape holds on to that. And you can use this also for your foil um, dies. So it has a lot of stick to it. So I'm feeling. And I know this is going to cut away, so let me try to stick it over here where it might hold on to that paper and we'll see. But basically that's just going to cut away anyway. Um, so I'm just going to run this through, um, you know, whatever die cutting machine you have that uh, will work for you. And I will be right so back. I used a really thick cardstock. I can feel like I had a lot of pressure there. And I suppose I can remove the thing, but maybe we should remove the tape first or what should we do? Maybe go this way. Oh, I can see already. That's much easier because it's coming up with this guy. Um, normally what happens is no. <laughs> you know, it completely. And you know what? You know how I am. I'm going to put this back and use it later. <laughs> so I'll leave that there. Now let's look at... I didn't do anything to prep it. There is no residue. I don't even see like lines where... Sometimes you'll have lines from where it was, like an outline of it. I don't know if you can see that. No stickiness whatsoever. Um, and it just peels right away. 
And now I have my beautiful little frame that didn't get wonky because I had to fight with my tape. <laughs> so that is really nice. And I mean, you can see how much pressure this had. It really stuck that down there. Do, do, do. Let me get this pretty boy out. Oh my gosh. Well, now I have this for another project. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, guys. So those are some of the new tools. Um, I just wanted to show them to you. Like I said, that you know they just send them for my use, but I thought, well, I would like to um, show them to you guys. Um, and so whenever I do my foiling or other things, I'll be using this stuff, and you guys can keep an eye on it and see what you think. And um, I'll have the links for everything in the description box. The uh, spring sale ends on the 30th, so there you still have a few more days to shop that if you're interested in anything there. And Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for the subscribers, for the 23,000. I mean, we're just moving and growing and getting busy, and I love it. So thank you guys so, so much. All right, have a great day. Bye now.